Impossible battle number 12. And look at the absolute state of this. This is Follow the Samurai. In a lot of ways, this is where Total War had everything right. So they managed to combine traditional Sengoku period samurai infantry katanas, all that stuff, with the emergence of guns and line infantry and artillery. And the gameplay is really tight and punishing. It's really, really challenging. This is part of why I started uploading Total War, because Follow the Samurai was so damn good and refreshing and rich. A lot of challenge and a lot of variety and I was loving it. And I thought, yeah, I can start uploading some really nice Total War videos. Oh yeah. So that was in 2012 and here we are in 2020 and people are sending me saves for my Impossible Battle series with some of the most challenging Total War I've ever played. And this is a great example of that. He's playing as the Azu, just like I was in my ill-fated campaign, where something similar to this happened, where I was met out of nowhere with a giant double stack that looked like a GG. Because this is maybe his main general. He's a rank 4. He's bringing Katana Kachi, Yari Kachi, He's got a unit of Kisho Ninja, which I think he said defected over. And we've got some Spear Levy and Levy Garrison Infantry. And we are dealing with a really well-balanced, substantial, heavy attacking army that has a lot of Kachi, which are basically Samurai Infantry. Katana Kachi are basically Katana Samurai, and Yari Kachi are basically Yari Samurai, except even better. And in Follow the Samurai, the AI doesn't tend to spam Ashigaru because there isn't really any. There's levy infantry and garrison infantry, like spear levies, but they're usually for the defender. So when you're getting hit with double stacks out of nowhere just coming out of the fog of war, they're going to have a lot of cavalry, Yariki, a solid unit. They're going to have a lot of katana catchy and Yari catchy, and they're going to bring some of everything. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 levy infantry. So these are guys with rifles that can attrition your high XP, high quality units in ways that are just unacceptable. So you really have to be careful of even these crappy rifle units. And they've got Yarikachi with experience. That's the core of this army. 2 XP Kachi. So it's going to be really difficult to chain route this army. It's going to be impossible to beat them in the melee because we don't have anywhere near as much as them. And we also don't really have much in terms of skirmishing. We've got one unit of cavalry. So this looks completely fucking hopeless. This is the worst so far. If I win this, it's definitely going to be one of the most stupendous victories that I've ever achieved in Total War. So, here we go. Siege defense against 4,500 with around 1,300 or 1,400 of our own. Let's see how this goes. Post commentary time. This has to go perfectly. They've got wooden cannons, so I need to shield my army from them and also space out some units to draw fire after they finish shooting at the towers. I've got unit Kisho Ninja that I definitely want to use. It's too tempting to not do that. And I didn't know this, but the leader of the unit has one of those masks. There you can see him. So I'm putting that unit on the bridge so that they can run away from any cavalry that chase them at the bridge and also maybe cross the bridge and get behind for a charge into the general. A really opportunistic decapitating charge. If that should arise, that opportunity. But what matters first though is this fight here. There's going to be units spawning on this side. There's going to be a, a Yarikachi, some levy infantry and some cavalry. 
So I need to I need to take them apart and defeat them really efficiently so we can move on to the main fight that's going to happen on the side with the ninjas. Also, they're going to get reinforced from the right at the edge of the map, way over to the right, and they're going to merge and then charge up that hill just to the right there. So, yeah, from there, that's where the main army is. They've got wooden cannons there. So they're going to fire at the tower, take it out, and then start shooting at my levy infantry. I'm going to let them do that while I dismantle this blob over here. They're sending a unit of cavalry. Uh, I need to catch them. That's Yariki. That's like Yari cavalry, except they have decent melee stats, so they can they can survive being in combat with spears for a while. So I need to make sure I get a clean fight. And also I've got two units of levy infantry on the walls that are going to be played off of for combined arm support wherever possible. And I get a nice cinematic shot there through the parapet. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to use my levy infantry, which don't have very good firepower, but they do have the ability to demoralize. And that's going to be really important. I really need the chain route for this fight. For the main fight that determines the outcome, I really need to chain route. And it's going to be really, really hard because they have Kachi, which are samurai. And they have XP. What the fuck? And I don't know why my general took losses there, that was strange. And they've came from behind. So I'm quickly pulling my, my katana catchy. This is why groups were so important. See how quickly I could respond there? I would have taken losses were it not for groups. I could immediately respond and draw the picture in my mind of what I wanted to happen just by having a few groups set up and instinctively telling them what to do. And we took one loss there on the katana catchy. That could have been 20 or 30 or 40, but I got them moving. They were not flat-footed when the charge hit, and that was enough. And they took one casualty. And look at that. Unit of Yariki wiped. Sweet. So we've taken out a cavalry unit from the front and from behind, and we're still intact and we're waiting for the next comers. So they're coming with another nice cinematic shot. So they've got a unit of Yari Kachi leading the line. They're going to be advancing on me and I'm going to try and defeat them with my rifles which is going to be really tough because we have such shitty firepower and accuracy and reload rate. But if I can fire into the flank of them and then get a nice clean charge with the Katana Kachi that may break them. So that's what I'm going for. And I'm trying to defeat them without the levy infantry fucking this up because they can take out five or ten guys with a volley of my elite and valuable infantry that I'm going to need on the other side of the fort to hold the line and buy time for that chain route. So I've pulled my levy infantry off the wall that's facing their levy infantry so they have nothing to fire up at right now. But I've got a shot into this Yari Kachi with the unit that I put on the wall. See how they don't have an angle on me? The men that are on the wall are defilated from their levy infantry. It's perfect. That was a perfect switch. And now I'm going for the charge. And... <laughs> oh my god. They broke on contact. So perfect. And now we've got three units of levy infantry right underneath the walls. And I can man the walls again and have a perfect shot right down into them while I've got the parapet defilating me from their return fire. It's so good. Look at that, they're blobbing up. They're blobbed up, so they're not presenting a lot of rifles to do a lot of damage to whoever they fire at. And they're blobbing into a solid mass and blocking each other's shots. And now I can man the walls again. And I can form up with my infantry again and get ready to charge them in a way that's as clean as possible while I'm firing down into them. So that's the levy infantry. Look at that, they're they're making a column that I can charge into the front of and they're totally negated. They get off like a couple of shots at most and I'm into the melee with them, with my general who's tying them down. They can't dial their sights, they're fucking stuck. And then my infantry follows up and now that's three units of levy infantry. Negated. Oh my god, yeah. Nullified perfectly. Very satisfying. And all that remains of this partition is two cavalry units. So I need to block them with my spears and finish off these three units. So that's what I'm trying to do. 
If they run over to the bridge, they'll discover my Kishou Ninja, so I can't let that happen. At least, I wouldn't want it to happen. Ideally, none, not a single man is going to make it to the bridge, but there's so many of them, so I'm resigned to that fact at this point. They're going to spot my Kishou Ninja, and I'm going to have to go for plan B. Holding fire so I don't get any collateral damage, and I'm trying to run them down with my general. And I'm blocking their cavalry units with my spear levies. The cannons are still firing, the wooden cannons. And they've changed target. Oh, you pricks. Yeah, it's really annoying because I was blobbed up and overlapping there so they got some kills on me. But this is still really clean. I've lost 3, 4, 7, 8, 9. 9 men and some men on my general. So this has been extremely clean. The enemy has discovered your hidden units. And we're potentially about to get more free kills because they're sending their two cavalry units over and I'm going to try and block them off, intercept them. And look at this, this is interesting. Their retreating units have met my Kishou Ninja waiting on the bridge and they're just running through my Kishou Ninja and getting sliced up. And then they're sending a cavalry unit over the bridge but Look at this, they're blocking the cavalry unit, so my Kishou Ninja are going to mostly make it out and then I'm going to relieve them with the Yari Kachi. And look at how this is all just coming together so perfectly. Their own retreating infantry are being funneled and blocking the cavalry. I've only lost two Kishou Ninja so far and I've blocked their cavalry as well and I've caught them, look. Rapid advance and they're caught and they're fucked. They've got to go back across the bridge or die. So good. And now I'm forming up at the top of the hill. There's a flat at the top of the hill that I can hide my infantry on and that partially defilates them from any rifles. So they're going to be... I'm at the top of a slope, on basically on the reverse of the slope so they don't have line of sight while I'm on the top there and holding it. So I just need to time my charge down in the melee and if that goes perfectly I'll get a really good fight. Alright and now the micro speeding up. They're going for my Kishou Ninja and I'm going to send the Kishou Ninja charging into that general unit that came across originally while I block with the Yarikachi. Perfect micromanagement. And then they try and pull out but I've got another unit committed to them anyway. Alright and it's still heating up now. Fire it well on. And I'm going to have to pull that levy infantry around and outside the fort to the other side so they can join in. Hold, hold, charge. Katanas lead the line, got to catch them on the slope, preferably the non-Katanas caught so I don't face those Katanas and take lots of losses. And they've got more cavalry coming across the bridge. And all the units have been caught over here, perfect micro so far. Now I just need to bring everything to bear upon them and react properly and take advantage of any opportunities. Look at that, they've got multiple ranks firing because I'm above them, I'm elevated and they have line of sight. That really sucks. I want to stop that as much as possible. I'm lucky it's only levy infantry that are shooting at me for those short windows. And now we've got it, what we want. We're in the melee with them, the lines have clashed. They haven't been able to get many charges off and their rifles don't have much line of sight. So I can start working something now. I need to make it happen. Now it's all on the Kishou Ninja to get through this gap, to thread this needle to make this happen, to break them all. Three seconds till the stealth, I can activate it again three seconds. Perfect, I need it so I can make it. I'll move faster and I'll have higher charge. And I'm going for it. I'm using the Kishou Ninja as a cavalry unit and I'm trying to demoralize the whole army while I break a unit of levy at the back. It's working, they're, they're being flanked. And I'm trying to keep my general near so that my own infantry don't break because in Fall of the Samurai, units that take fire from rifles can easily break. So I'm trying to keep my general near, I'm trying to commit all my units, I'm trying to get flank bonuses, I'm trying to envelop them. And it's working. I've got units that are wavering, I've got a chain of lost morale happening. It's starting to work. And I've got a lot of units inside the fort though, so if enough units make up to the fort, it won't be enough. I won't have done enough damage down here, so I need to make sure that they all break right now, and that I still have cohesion. And it seems to be working. The banners are flashing. One of the units that's trying to climb the, the fort is wavering, not shaking. And I'm just pushing through now. I've, I've managed to break the core of the infantry and now I'm going for the rifles at the back of the levee. And this is it, make or break. These are the seconds. That's a lot of units flashing now. That could be it. 
See when that unit broke there, I knew that I'd done it. And my levy infantry that flanked around has caught that Yari catchy on the wall and routing them as well. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I thought that one was hopeless, <laughs> so I was fucking elated. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That chain route was so difficult <laughs> to pull off. It's so hard to have everything go well enough for there to be a chain route when you're dealing with samurai with XP like that. Everything just went well. And see that flank with the Kishou Ninja right behind him? <laughs> that was what made that happen. That was so important, having that Kishou Ninja go, go behind, because they couldn't rally because they were too close to one of my units. And then it was just about getting every other unit to join in on the route. And just like that, they got fucking destroyed. And he's recruited bows, so, and a unit of wooden cannons. Did we capture them? So, the follow-up fight is going to be way more viable. And that is the first impossible battle of Follow the Samurai. And that is one hell of a total war game, and that was one hell of an impossible battle. If you're a fan of my work and would like to spur me on, I've got a Patreon page. Thanks to all of my patrons for the ongoing support. Special thanks to Matteo Olivetti, Nerdington, The Rode 451, and Halcyon.